Okay. <laughs> I was about to say okay class and then I was like, you know what, that sounds really cringe, so I'm not gonna say that. But today I'm gonna teach you about meditation. I'm gonna teach you specifically about mindfulness meditation. Around 2022 is when I started meditating. I had already adopted certain self-improvement habits. I was very focused on boxing and my goals in boxing at the time. This question you might be asking, what is mindfulness meditation? Mindfulness meditation is the practice of being present in your body, being present in your surroundings. So I'll give an example. So let's say we close our eyes and we're meditating and we start to focus on our breathing, for example, and focus on being present inside of our body. The whole goal of meditation is to basically be able to be in the moment and to be able to be present and to be conscious of how your body feels, what's going on in your surroundings and not being distracted by the past or the future. So it's being essentially mindful of your current state, how I would define mindfulness meditation. I was 13 years old when I had my first amateur boxing match. And I remember there were periods of time in, in the fight constantly where I was actually losing focus. I wasn't able to stay present in the moment, um, even in sparring all the way up to around the age of 14, maybe 15 is probably around when I started to, which is when I started meditating when I was 15. I found that meditation was helping me to be able to stay present and stay focused while I was competing and while I was training and boxing because before that, I felt like I struggled with being mindful, being in the moment, being able to just be present essentially. And I found that meditation it was one of those skills that took my boxing ability to, to the next level. And you might be hearing this and you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm not a boxer or I don't do combat sports, so why do I need to meditate? And meditation is not just for athletes or for combat sports athletes. So meditation is, in my opinion, useful and beneficial to everybody. I think meditation helps us to be more present and I find that meditation helps us to be able to calm our minds down and just to be able to focus on where we are right now and to be able to enjoy life more. I think that being able to be mindful, being able to be present helps us to not only achieve our goals because we're more, we're able to focus because we're in the moment and we're able to not to block out the past and block out the future and just focus on this exact moment and do what we need to do to get where we want to be. But also I think that just being able to enjoy life, to being being able to relax our body, calm our, I guess our nervous system, I'm not a doctor, but I think, I think it's the nervous system, um, just to calm our body down and to be able to relax and just, I guess, relax into the moment, just being comfortable in the moment, not trying to force things in the future, not trying to stress about the past, things that we can't really change, but doing what we can do now here in the present to enjoy the quality of our experience right now. Meditation is very simple. All you need to do is just be right where you are. You can do it sitting, you can do it standing, you can do it in a chair, you can do it on a couch, you can do it on a bed, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on a mat, on a pillow, in a car, um, on Mars. You can literally do it anywhere you want. You can do it in an office building, like anywhere. You can meditate anywhere, there's no rules. Part of why meditation is so beneficial is because you can take it with you anywhere you want to help you to relax and to calm down or to just focus. The way I would recommend getting into meditation is go on YouTube and you'll find, you, you can type in mindfulness meditation. The one that I started with is on YouTube, on the Calm app, they have a YouTube channel and they post, uh, they have a couple of mindfulness meditations. You have the voice in the background guiding you, teaching you how to meditate, teaching you what to focus on. And it also gives you a timer. So if you are trying to get into meditation for the first time, I think that understanding how meditation works and how you get better at it is important. So when you start meditating, maybe doing a meditation where you're focusing on your breathing, for example, and 
thoughts start to come into your mind, you start to lose focus. You might think about, oh, what's for lunch? Or I got to do this assignment for school or I got this thing for work I got to do or I had this thing happen to me yesterday or whatever's on your mind. Key is to not judge your thoughts, not get upset because you lost your focus. But once you realize that you lost your focus, the key is to bring your focus back to your breathing or back to whatever you're focusing on while you're meditating. And that is how you improve. And the more you do that is the better that you're going to get at meditating. So it's actually a good thing when you lose your focus because it's an opportunity to bring your focus back. And when you start out meditating, you may only be able to meditate for two minutes. You may only be able to meditate for 30 seconds, maybe even less than that. But the key is consistency starting to create a routine that you can follow that works for you and being and showing up for yourself and showing up to the practice and maybe it starts out that all you can do is one minute of meditation a day but then that one minute turns to two minutes and that two minutes turns to five and that five minute turns to ten i don't think you need to i've done like 20 and 30 minute long meditations if that's something that you're interested in and getting really 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 good at doing that you can but I don't think that you really need to go past a 10 minute meditation. I think that's more than enough. If you want to be my guest, I think that it's important to set realistic expectations when starting. Don't, if you've never meditated before, don't expect to be able to meditate for 10 minutes without losing focus and not getting frustrated. You can maybe meditate for 10 minutes, but chances are you will lose focus. You might not, but chances are you will. And don't beat yourself up for that and just realize it's a part of the learning process and realize that you're just going to get better from there. If you keep showing up, keep being consistent, just like anything else in life, the more consistent you are, the better you're going to get at it.